Hello everybody, this is AK. I'm back. So earlier in the day, I produced a video on uh, DBS. So if you are an investor and you're interested in DBS, you might want to go watch that later. It's a three minutes video. Okay, so tonight's video is again about CPF. Uh, but specifically about uh, CPA, CPF life plans, right? Um, so uh, I've been producing videos about CPF in recent days and this it will be uh, an important video to wrap things up, right? Because this is uh, prob probably the last big topic uh, on CPF that I'll be talking about here in my channel. Right. So following the last video on how to get the most out of CPF life, whether we are going to choose a full retirement sum or enhanced retirement sum, I got uh, quite a lot of uh, response. Right. And um, I, I thought it would be good to uh, produce a video on the different CPF life plans just to round things off right and uh, I, I wasn't wrong in thinking that because there was a reader a viewer who said hi AK would you be going for standard or escalating plan the CPF life plans could you please think aloud your reasons for doing so thanks so much and I said I'm making a video on this so akan datang <laughs> so I'm back and of course and there were some viewers who also saying that uh, not standard or escalating but go for the basic plan right and there's a viewer say choose the basic plan uh, and if your life is uh, not a long life <laughs> you'll get more of it back but it's a bit strange because actually you won't be getting a lot more back it's your beneficiary who get a lot more money back right so uh, and uh, someone says uh, it depends on whether we plan it for ourselves or our dependents very good point and uh, someone else says take care of yourself first the kids have a longer runway and make things happen to make things happen for themselves so basically they can take care of themselves right so uh, personally I have blog about this matter before way back in 2017 right I blog about this uh, topic and I say which CPF life plan for me Right, which one would AK choose? Is it the basic, the standard, or the escalating plan? And I open off, I started the blog post by saying an annuity is supposed to help fund our retirement. Right, so I should be looking at getting a bigger payout if possible in my retirement and not a smaller one. Right, and so my choice is clear. My choice is the standard plan. Right, and to be fair, I know there are people who would like to leave more money behind for their children or whoever their beneficiaries might be. And they might say that I think the way I do because I have no children. <laughs> or at least I think I have none. Uh, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, however, I do feel that children should take care of themselves once they are adults. Right. And some might tell me, oh, this is a Western idea. No, it's not. You know, even the Chinese people, they say something like, er sun zi you, er sun fu, mo wei er sun zuo ma niu. Right? So it's, the Chinese people also think like this, you know, children should take care of themselves. They will have their own fu qi, you know. Why must we be a ma niu, which is why should we toy like a horse or, a or, or, or an ox, you know, for our children once they are grown up. Right? So if we look at CPF life uh, basic plan, right? In order to possibly leave more money behind, the annuity rate is a lot lower, right? The annuity rate is a lot lower, right? Uh, compared to the CPF Life Standard Plan, right? The annuity rate for the CPF Life Standard Plan is about 10% higher than the CPF Life Basic Plan. So the annuity rate basically uh, measures how much we are getting back. Uh, on a monthly basis when we are being paid by the annuity right uh, so i feel that when it comes to an annuity the bequest should not be a primary consideration because leaving a legacy is not the purpose of an annuity an annuity is not a legacy planning tool right an annuity is a retirement funding tool right so then of course basic and standard which one will i choose standard the standard plan is a no-brainer for me right then what about the cpf life escalating plan this was introduced in 2017 so it was a new 
plan back then is an option. So it's an escalating plan is supposed to help us deal with inflation. Supposed to help us deal with inflation. And the CPF life escalating plans annuity rate escalates at 2% every year. So you get more every year. But you start out with a lower sum of money at the start. A lower payout at the start. Right. So I said I will probably stick to the standard plan because receiving a more meaningful sum of money right from the start and for many years after that is intuitive more attractive to me right so but let, let's look at the math right let's look at, at the math let's look at numbers because numbers don't lie well they shouldn't lie right right uh, that, uh, though for annuity rate to be on par with CPF life standard plan the escalating plan would take about 11 years right in simple English it means that only from the 12 year onwards the escalating plans annuity rates would be higher than the standard plans and it means that its monthly payout would only become higher than the standard plan in from the 12 year onwards so for the first 11 11 years a cpf life escalating plan actually pays less than the standard plan and it only pays more than the standard plan from the 12 year onwards right now to some people this might sound attractive right but it's really from the 12 year onwards right in terms of total dollars received from the first payout the escalating plan would have lagged behind the standard plan and logically it would take many more years to catch up with the standard plan to make up for this shortfall okay so if we take into consideration the time value of money which says a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow the difference in value spanning a period of years is even more stark uh, so so imagine the escalating plan paying us less in the first 11 years and then from 12 years onwards it pay us more but it has to fill it has to backfill the shortfall of the first 11 years right so basically we are taking back our own money that we would have gotten in the first 11 years and the money is actually worth less because of the time value of money right i hope that makes sense to everybody i have never been very good at math and uh this is just my best to make sense of things and i hope i i'm able to do a good job of it lah, huh? so would i choose cpf life standard plan basic plan or escalating plan well for me it's the standard plan right and please remember that i think this is right for me but might not be right for you so you have been warned right so if ak can do math so can you bye bye